Have you ever found yourself in a position of feeling left out? Maybe as a child on the playground, the children were gathering together to play some game, and because you were chosen last, you simply felt left out. Likewise, as adults, sometimes, we're among our family and friends, and discussions arise to which we have no interest or no knowledge, and we, too, end up feeling left out. You know, being left out of anything socially on this side of eternity can be disturbing. It can cause us problems emotionally. It can make us feel worthless, and other emotions can come with that. But there's nothing greater than being left out on the day of judgment. In Matthew chapter 25, Jesus told a parable, a parable of three men who were each given talents, one five, one three, and then one a single talent. And their master commanded upon them to use those talents to the best of their ability, we would say to invest them, and to bring them back and show him what they had earned. Now each of these men were either commended or condemned for what they had done. The first two men were commended for what they had done. The one who had five talents increased that to ten, and he was commended for that. The one who had two talents likewise did the same, doubling his talent. But the man who had a single talent, he chose to do nothing with it. As a matter of fact, he buried that talent, according to Matthew 25, and he came back and told his master that he was simply afraid. He was afraid to do anything with that talent, and in essence, we find out he was left out. As a matter of fact, Jesus said that master had to speak unto that servant and say, Depart from ye cursed into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Now, friends, you know as well as I do, Matthew 25, at least that section of it, represents what will occur in the day of judgment. It represents the way that we too may be left out if we're not willing to take advantage of the blood that Jesus shed. The beautiful news, however, and I've already referenced these two, but I want to read the scripture that goes along with it. The beautiful news is that there were many there, two of the three, as a matter of fact, the majority at that point, who did not have to be left out. Because of their obedience, the Lord called upon them to be a part of the group. In Matthew 25, verse 30, 23, here are the words of Jesus. And the Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over few things, and I will make thee ruler over many things. And even into the joy of our Lord. Friends, I hope and pray that as you go through your life for, from now until eternity should turn, that you'll do what you can, not only to be obedient to God, but to use the things that he's offered unto you. Your talents, your abilities, your gifts, whatever you want to call them, use them to the greatest advantage. Because when it stands in the day of judgment, none of us want to be left out. This has been your daily dose, and I pray that you'll be encouraged.